Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. I am Prabhu. In this session, I am going to explain about external reference command in AutoCAD. This external reference command is used to attach any external drawing or an image to the current drawing. Present, I am working on two flats in the first floor of an apartment. So I would like to check whether these two flats are falling inside the plinth area or not with another site plan drawing. So I want to attach an external reference of the site plan to this current drawing. So to do that, we have to use external reference command. If you want to use toolbar, you have to go to insert tab and over here in the reference group, you can click attach. But I am going to use command method. So simply type XR at the command prompt and press enter. Now you will get a palette over here like this. Just right click over here and click attach drawing. You can also see that you can attach an image, DWF and other formats also. Present we are going to attach a drawing. So click attach drawing over here. It will open a file open dialog box. Now I am going to attach site plan to the current drawing. So I am selecting site plan and click open. Now it will show another dialog box with external reference settings. It will ask for insertion point, scale and rotation angle of the drawing which we are going to attach as an external reference. So generally when we are attaching external references, it will be to the 0, 0 and it, its scale will be 1 is to 1 and rotation by default 0. Just let the settings as they are and say OK. Now you can see the external reference site plan is attached over here and you can also observe site plan attached in this palette. Now I can see that my flat is exactly within the plinth area and I have left the passes perfectly and another flat over here and staircase is over here. Let us say if you want to temporarily switch off this external reference, you can do that by simply going on to this in the palette. Select the site plan, right click and say unload. This will temporarily switch off the display of external reference. Similarly, if you want to reinsert or uh, switch on the display again of this external drawing, again go to site plan in the reference palette and select reload option so that it will be displayed again. Sometimes you may get a requirement of like you may want to bind this external reference to the current drawing also. How to do that? So simply go to this external reference palette, right click on the site plan and select bind option. Now it is asking do you want to bind or insert? These two different options will bring the external reference into the current drawing. If you bind, it will automatically include it into the current drawing. If you insert, it will be included as a block into the current drawing. Let us see what happens if we click bind option. I am selecting bind and saying OK. Now, now let us check the layers. So I am taking layers command. So here you can see the external reference drawing name site plan is given as prefix for the layers of that external reference. There are only two layers in the external reference that is site plan and north and there and the drawing name is added as a prefix when we use bind option. Now let us try to insert this. So I am going to external reference palette and selecting external reference and saying bind and take insert option this time and say ok. Now if you select this external reference it will be selected as a block if you list it out it will say it is a block reference site plan inserted into the current drawing now let us check what happened to the layer names so i am taking layer command you can see layers are given as exact layer names without any prefix or suffix so this is a bit difference from insert and bind anyway you have to explode this external reference if you want to or make it a individual object in the current drawing. Let us undo this and check out what are the other options in the external reference. Now again select the external reference and if you want to detach this from the current drawing simply click detach option 
so that the external reference will be detached from the current drawing. Let us try to add one more time and see any other options are available in the external reference. So type XR at the command prompt and press enter. You will get external reference palette. Just right click over here and select attach drawing option and select the drawing which you want to add as an external reference and click open and it will ask you what is the insertion point scale and rotation angle of the drawing to be inserted give the required values and say ok so the external reference is attached now if you want to modify the external reference you can do that from here itself without opening the external reference separately let us say I have found an error over here this line is to be extended up to over here in the external reference to edit the external reference go to reference and click edit reference option over here or you can type riff edit command and press enter it will ask you to select the external reference simply select anywhere it will pop up a dialog like this just click ok now you can observe the current drawing is hidden and the external reference drawing is active so simply go to the location and do the required changes and to close this simply type riff close command riff REF C L O S C and press enter now it will ask you do you want to save the changes the default option is save click save option and it is saying all the changes will be saved simply click ok and now you can observe the modification that is what are the editing you have done to the external reference is updated in the external reference drawing from here itself similarly if you want to copy few objects from the external reference you can do that using n copy command i think that is from express tools so let us try that one i want to copy only these two lines from the external reference so type n c o p y and press enter it will ask you to select objects select these two objects and press enter now it is asking base point click any point on that object and it is asking second point you can type at the rate and press enter so that they will be copied on the same location now you can see these two objects are copied from external reference to the current current drawing so this is how we can do different operations on the external references and if you want to detach the external reference from the current drawing simply go to the external reference palette over here select the external reference drawing right click and click or select detach that's it so this is how working with external references in autocad hope you understood friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session